this morning. Thank you all came early so you could get this seat a little fast this morning. We talked about it in the early sunshine this morning. Beautiful day in town of Parksburg, West Virginia, the point of the second rain seats. That's a lot of fun for those who are joining us. We live stream. We're going to have a great day. If you are joining us, we trust that. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. So I got Paul right this morning, what do you call us? Good morning. The um, children and youth are currently collecting cans of food and other non perishable food items for the Super Bowl of Terry. There are two tables that are out in Westminster Hall um, that are divided by the first letter of your last name. So if your last name begins with A through N, you'll donate to one table. The other table is dedicated to A through Z. And then once our Super Bowl teams are set, we will have um, tables set up for the Super Bowl teams. Plus a consolation table for all of our favorites that are no longer in the <laughs> um, And all of the items will be getting to local food pantries following the Super Bowl Sunday Thank you.
know what it's like for you. Thank you so much. Thanks for being on this morning's call to worship. Heavens are telling the glory of God, and the sun is proclaiming the name of God. Today, today, the Lord's Lord speaks, and the night to night declares nothing. There is no speech, nor are there words, yet the voice goes out to all the earth. Through the words of my mouth, and the meditation of my heart, be acceptable to you, O Lord, my God and my Redeemer. Let us pray. God of truth, we come longing for the peace that only you can provide. You seem so often to be tossed to and fro, blown about by every wind, except that of your own spirit. Be pleased to dwell here this day, to receive our worship and our praise. Be the one who speaks the truth to us in love. That we may come to the unity of faith and to the knowledge of the full stature of Christ. In these names we pray, Amen. Please stand if you're able for the number 356. This morning's call to confession. Knowing that we are not all we should be, be confident of God's love and mercy. Let us confess our sins before God and one another. Let us pray. Our God, forgive us for failing to understand and accept the great demands placed upon us by your love. We admit in your process we find ourselves losing interest. We promise to be courageous. But find ourselves afraid. We want to be sensitive, but find ourselves hard and careless. Forgive us. Take our limitations and turn them into possibilities for service. Have mercy on us and grant us your peace. Amen. Here's the good news Christ came into the world to save sinners, to forgive you in your follies and foibles. To accept you as you are, to set you free from evil's power and make what you were meant to be. Thanks be to God.
So come to us now, he said, and your words spoken in the tongues. Give to us the living water that our thirst can be quenched, and our hunger for the kingdom of Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. This morning's first scripture class will come to us from Jeremiah chapter 8, verses 1 to 3, 5 to 6, and 3 to 10. On the seventh month came, the people of Israel began to bring such as their parents, all the people of the people of the Jews who were in the world. Israel described as being the birth of God of Moses, which the Lord had given to Israel. Accordingly, the priest was a God of all the children of Israel, both men and women, and all who could hear and understand. This was on the first day of the second month. He read from it, facing the square of the Lord of the Lord, from early morning until midday, in the presence of the men and the women and those who could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive to the book of the Lord. And Israel opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was standing above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. Then Ezra blessed the Lord, great God, to all the people who were Amen, amen, lifting up their hands. Then they bowed their heads and worshiped the Lord with their faces to the ground. So they read from the book and the law of God with interpretation. They gave the sense so that people understood the meaning. And Nehemiah, who was the governor, and Ezra, the priest, and Sarah, and the Levites, who taught the people to say it to other people, this day was holy to the Lord God, not man or woman. That all the people wept when they heard the words of God. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink sweet wine, and send portions of them to those for whom you have been prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord, and do not be grieved to the glory of the Lord that has been shown. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
peace of the kingdom of God, the poor will not want to pay for the path of the life. God's life is not limited to a slight fear. God lets each of us have our faith. That's what it is. It's been said that you can tell your life about a person's faith by how they treat those who are less powerful than themselves. This is the theory of the nation. What are the things she said that really don't matter? She said she works in the people in his profession, but before he took a job, he would go out to lunch with people and he would watch how they treated what he said. He said he refused to work with somebody who treated the way he said. You can tell a lot about the character of God by how he treats us. He calls us the less powerful than God. But even the least powerful of us is the most powerful of us. God knows us. God knows our ways. God knows all of our children, all of our nations, and all of their names. God knows the number of the children from our world. God pays attention to us, shows his love for us. Jesus read the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. To them, this country has been destroyed for its own. He forgives us the cross of Isaac. He set me to the plain to release the captives from the covering of flight and sight of the blind. He let the oppressed. Jesus made those words to me. It is how long a wicked work to set people free, to heal those who confuse them, to raise up the dead of Christ. And as all the people are poured out all the way to heaven. But Jesus also made those words to that church, because there are many types of imprisonment that we have found them by different things. The circle of revelation has to be five pieces of the day, blessed by the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. If you will agree with me, that it's possible to be rich in things that are for yourself. For your spirit, it's possible to live in a nation that has power and position and wealth and influence and still be poor in spirit. The best image of the living according to God. The building property in death and yet they feel kept in healthy health. There are many ways to be poor in spirit. There's so many people today who are imprisoned by shame, or guilt, or anger, anger, fear. And if you are finding yourself imprisoned by any of those things today, there's good news for you. God shows us the character of God who comes to set us free. I was reading about one of the early pictures of his birth, his mother there in the early days. I was in Charles Rogers, I think it's the name of The name of this man is years ago. It was the name of Jackson. And Jackson and his wife spent six years working as missionaries before they had their first child. Six years. At one point, Jackson was thrown into prison, and while he was in prison, he spent a good year with his wife and his wife. After his release from prison, Jackson comes home, comes home, and tore her disease that had followed him the rest of his life to death. As hard as it is for his work, Jackson never lost faith that he never lost that spark of hope. He never stopped radiating hope. He was known for saying, quote, the future is as bright as the promises of God. Jesus read, it's simply to proclaim release to the captives 
So you remember your fight with the body, you have to request for free. If you accept this, this teaching has been fulfilled in the church. Jesus continued the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to claim to hear the Lord's faith. The year of the Lord's faith. It's a time of God to relent to give up his own report. It's a time of God to inspire the Lord to bless us and give us mercy and forgiveness and joy for us. There will be a time of God Kingdom hope within us and begins a new creation within us. The Jewish people long for the day of God's favor. Jesus told the disciples to say that the year of the Lord's favor is not all some distant time in the future. The year of the Lord's favor is now. No matter how difficult our circumstances, we can not lose hope. For with God, uh, all things are possible. Paul writes in Romans chapter 8, what my favorite is in all scripture. If God is for us, who can be against us? God is for us. We say God is a good thing. We are rich in In his life on earth, God showed us, he showed us that God cares about us in the midst of our suffering and hardship. Cares about us enough to come down to earth to share it. And enjoy those things with us. Jesus himself went about his ministry as a poor man, only nothing but clothes and stuff. I want to share one more story about the difference between being poor and rich. And he said, Tim Hartley is a remarkable woman. And she wrote a book about this. Stories that her mother taught her that fit in the same circle. One of Eddie's favorite stories was one who also won the history of 1946. A month before Easter, the pastor that on Easter morning they would take up a special collection for a needy family in the church. Well, the family was suspicious on their way home. How they could help, how they could save up some money to give to the poor family in the church. And so they bought a big bag of potatoes and resolved just potatoes for a month to sleep so much. And they'd be more careful with electricity to save while they were too late. And then the children decided they all did spare jobs, odd jobs. They didn't say another thing, so they too would contribute. Daddy talks about the joy of that month. And they were all working so hard for such a poor family. Finally, the big day arrived. They said they counted the money that they'd been able to save seven years. That was quite a lot of money back in 1936. It's all because the church were invited to give them more for the offering that they could have passed. And they came home to the church that day with such joy in their hearts. Later, the afternoon passed the church. And that seems to make a better relative death to the poor family of the church that likes to take it up to the church. The pastor left the envelope in the room. And as he left, the joy seemed to go out to the church. He said that the money of the money of the money of the envelope paid the same. You never thought of yourself as being poor before. The sadness settled over the place that week. It was Sunday, only the kids wanted to go to church, but by the sisters, it was okay. That church that morning, they visited missionaries, and he talked about how God was changing hearts of people to heaven. And he asked for help for a new church room. Or look for the big church that was being built. He said it would take a lot of money to come and buy it, but he hoped that they could have it. And he told them, Yes, show them. As you can see, they all agreed. If you put the envelope with the $87 in the offering plate, 
And he says that he hopes you know, when you the place, you know, like the church. At the church, the other church, the mission I was talking to the pastor. And he was amazed at the little congregation that contributed with money to pay for the whole world. And the mission I said, you must have some very good students in the church. And he said, study with the students. You are the rich man in the church. And that day all night, I've never been poor again. I've always remembered how rich I was. Oh, God, Jesus. Jesus wept. And the book of Isaac, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Oh, he has anointed me to bring good things to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim peace to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind. He left the oppressed so free, proclaiming the year of the Lord's faith. Jesus said, Today the scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Verse 17. So I want you to read this decree in your book.
Thank you. 
Father, we have been impressed with the Lord God Almighty. We receive blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Both for you, the church of Jesus Christ, and for every reason. May the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be upon us, rest on us, Father. Amen.